Okay. Okay, so I'll start it again. I just measured it's the on axis. Doing two sweeps with a, uh, just to average it, but you don't really need that. That's fine. And uh, so we have a curve. It's actually pretty even, uh, all things considered. We're in, you know, we're in just in a random space. So then I'll just turn it, say that would be uh, 30 degrees, and then run it again. And as we go off axis, uh, there's virtually no change whatsoever in the response. Right up at the top end, over, over 10 kilohertz, you're starting to see some of the effect. But, I mean, that's minimal. I'll go further, that's over 45 degrees, I guess. Again, okay, so the total level dropped down, but the balance across the spectrum has still stayed even, so it's pretty impressive to get that kind of, uh, that kind of dispersion from it. We go fully perpendicular. And still maintaining a really even balance. Okay, we see a little bit of a notch here. It's possibly some lobing, but that's, that's a trivial amount considering.